Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, as always, the King of Landing is here today bringing you guys and gals Torico Chapter Reviews today, Torico Chapter 332 Review. Now, as always, there's a live reaction that I did to the chapter in this corner area annotation, as well as the link in the box below. Now, here's the thing. This chapter does have a lot of things going for it, so if I recall, if I fail to recall something, I apologize, all right? So what I just did was I put a wall, right, a force field, an absolute defense between myself and your criticisms, all right? Because I forget stuff. I apologize. I'm a human being. I'm not walking on water anytime soon, all right? And speaking of forgetting stuff, I forgot about Chin, Chin Chin being a Bishoguya because he's not a chef. So he can't compete in the competition, and that's my bad. In fact, he's the partner of Chio, and she's the chef. I forget about that kind of stuff. So, again, my bad. But I got my force fill up, so you can't hurt me. All right, can't touch this. Do 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 do. do, do. Can't touch this. All right. Now, that being said, there's also something I want to talk about before I get to the chapter. So on Kiss Anime, uh, no, Kiss Manga. Excuse me, more on Kiss Manga and on Batoto. The translation for the chapter refers to Asarudi as a he, but on Manga Stream, it's a she. So I'm not too sure which one's right. Is Asarudi male or female? Now, granted, Asarudi has like lipstick on, but I mean, it's anime manga, all right? <laughs> we, we've seen plenty of dudes rock the fucking lipstick, so it's not uncommon. However, if Asarudi is a she, there is a theory that's going around where in which Asarudi is the mother of Chaka, which I think is not the case because we saw an image of Chaka's mom when the old man was talking about her. And she had two arms, not four. And I can see why folks think that because of Asarudi's phenomenal eye prowess, where Asarudi read two books like simultaneously or near simultaneously. And he stored the, or he, she stored the information in their mind, and they were just like taking it all in, pretty much. But they read 500 plus pages of one book in like an instant. So that would correlate to Chaco's mom having bad eyesight, and the reason why she was taken by, I guess, the Blue Girl government. To have her soul switched. So, I'm not too sure, honestly. But I'm going to say no for now. That being said, the chapter of itself. So, let me talk about the book. The book is actually created by one of the members of the Zero Biotype. Malisman or Malisman. How do you want to say it? Because it's spelled like Talisman, but with an M instead of a T. And... The L could be an R, because the Japanese, they change their L's and R's like fucking, like, like changing damn toilet paper. It's like, like, constantly. So, I'm not too sure how to say the name correctly. But I'm going to say uh, Malizma for now. And she was the person that went over to the uh, Area 3, all right, where the crows reside. Where Adam is. And like that crazy uber what the fuck bridge. So... My assumption is that they're dead, but it's not a guarantee. So we have to wait and see when we go over to, to when we go over to a Coco and the fucking poison guy. Uh, I forgot his name. I forgot his name. Whatever. <clears throat> now, aside from that, a few things that I want to talk about as well. So they have their own uh, G7 group called the Spirit Tasters, uh, the ST10, and. As far as I know, they're all there. So, like, they didn't pull, like, that Neo shit where, like, they just fucking, like, left. And they, I mean, I'm not going to say that they're going to have a bias. They shouldn't have a bias. But because they're spirit tasters, there's a good chance that we're going to see some spirit food being cooked by the 10, by the uh, 510 shells. Which is kind of unfair because, like, hold on, like... Like, there has to be a rule where, like, the food that they're cooking can't be spirit food related. Because they have to put them on equal grounds. Because you can't have motherfuckers 
you know, cooking spirit foods. What the fuck? Like, what the hell is this shit? I haven't. T I. They have not touched spirit food at all. And then you're gonna have them cook it, or you're gonna have them, you know, like, like you know, have dishes made that are beyond their knowledge, beyond their scope. Now, if it was Komatsu, Ogi food luck, Ogi, he could fucking rock whatever. But Komatsu isn't there yet. So, let's try to keep it fair. And also, I did notice how when Don Slime was coming in, big ass throne and shit, the comfy Iron Throne, this dude was surrounded by bodyguards, if you would. And these bodyguards are all wearing the mask. So, these people are all switched out. The original souls switched out for souls from the food spirit realm, the world behind. And I guess it's because he himself is not a... Like he, he's not in a body. And some folks can't see him, but he's there. And I guess because he's not in the body yet, he has to be like protected. Or maybe it's the case that when you switch out someone's like original soul for a soul that well, you spawn in the food spirit realm, they're stronger. I don't know. But just note how they're all people with the mask on. And also, speaking of that, when we look at Asarudi's eyes, Asarudi has the white pupils and then the rest is black. I'm not too sure if that is something that all people that have their soul switched out have. Like that's an innate body reaction when the souls are switched. Or if that is specific to Asarudi. I'm not too sure. So, I just keep that in mind. When we go over to... Oh yeah, and, and let me just end up on that. Because stay in the same field here. So, you have Yuta. He picks up the guys. Including Nono. And I want to see Nono actually, you know. I want to see what she can do cooking-wise. I mean, Nono, I forgot. But she froze that one lake. That one pretty big-ass lake in a human world. When Toriko and Zebra, Coco, they were going... And Sunny, they were going for like that one fish dish. I forgot what it was called. But either way. The fact of the matter is that she does have some skill. And I want to see what she can deliver. And she also... What was it? Like, she was in Area 8. And they wanted to go to Area 7 really quick. But the rainbow that the Heracles was was galloping on disappeared. So she made, like, an ice path for them. So she has skill. And then you have, you know, Chiru's there, too. You have Yuda. Uh, what's the guy named? Sky? Sky? Sky something. I forgot his name. Uh, the guy with the fucking top hat thingy. And uh, Black Dude, alright? The fucking oil guy. And they're good, alright? Each one of them are owners of the uh, 10 star restaurants. But let's see if they can actually con compete with the 10 shells. Because on the Batoto translation, these 10 shells, you could eat a regular fucking bowl of rice. White rice! This is the shade season. The shit doesn't have any, like, you know, Caribbean spices. Nah, just basic ass white rice. And they just, no juice, just uh, no fucking lady. No, man, just regular old white rice, really. But this shit will taste great when you look, not even smell, when you look at the cooking of the 10 shops. That's OD hype. That's OD. So, wow. Okay, so, you know, they, they're going to showcase some shit. But, uh,. Yuta's gonna fucking... I mean, yeah, granted. You know, Chiru, she is the disciple of uh, Chiyo. Nono's good. Oil guy's pretty damn good. The guy at the top is pretty damn good. But fucking Yuta, alright? Fuck it. Fucking Yuta. Yuta's gonna be pulling some crazy-ass shit. Draws are gonna fucking... Die. Like, what? Fuck human! Damn! Look at God! Like, yeah! Man, I don't waste a single millisecond, motherfuckers. I, Yuta's the shit. Alright. So, moving on to Komatsu in this bit. Basically, Komatsu actually talks to the old guy. And the old guy, which I thought was a massive threat before, is actually a pretty nice guy now. So I guess when the old guy was trying to, like, have his food spirit transfer from the old man body to Komatsu's body, I guess what he was trying to do there was just to, you know, find a new body. Yeah, I, and a damn story, I guess. But I just thought about it. I don't know if the food spirits can actually switch out their bodies like that. When it comes to people that actually have gourmet demons, Komatsu is a gourmet demon. Would the gourmet demon allow Komatsu's soul to switch out for another soul? I don't think so. 
I think that the Grimane Demon in Sakamatsu's body is actually very intent on keeping it that way. Where, no, 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 I want Komatsu's original soul. Fuck the old man. Fuck that shit. You get the fuck out. So, yeah, I, I, I can see that happening. Like, the Grimane Demon saying, nah, like, you ain't coming in here, dog. Fuck, fuck is that? Get the fuck out of here, dog. Look, you crazy? So, I can see that shit. But either way, here's the thing. So, it's explained how the Nitro are pretty much the cause of all this shit. Of course, as always, fucking goddamn Blue Nitro fucking experimenting and doing fucked up shit with human beings and they're injecting gourmet cells and let's see what this does. Let's see what this does. Let's do a, let's do a wee little bit of tinkering. Ain't no big deal. No problem. You fucking they start you're injecting fuckers with shit. And it's gone down the line. So they're very similar to Tengu Brunchy's folk. And we find out that there are some folks that generate from a generational standpoint they are not compatible fully with gourmet cells. And that has changed them to the degree of they have wounds. So some folks have wounds. It's like 10% of the population have these wounds. And in the case of Chaco's mom, when she gave birth to him, her eyes start to grow uh, dimmer. And she was able to hide it. But they found out six months ago. And so they took her in. So she can get her soul traded. And when it comes to Chaco himself, he has bad taste and he has poor smell. So he says something stinks when, the, when nothing stinks at all. There is no doo-doo on the ground. He says that Komatsu, Komatsu's food tastes bad. And I'll admit, I thought that Komatsu fucked up. But I should have known better. It, it's Komatsu. It, it's cooking with Komatsu. When the fuck has Komatsu ever fucked up cooking? So, here's the thing. He has a disorder. He has a taste and smell disorder. And I don't know if that can be changed. I'm not too sure. Maybe another can actually change this situation. For not just Chaco, but for all folks with disorders. Who knows? But, Chaco was taken in by the gov of Blue Grill. I don't know. The, the people. Alright? They. They. The ominous they. And they are going to switch out Chaco's soul. And they are located at some, like, shell mountain somewhere. The old man tells him, Koma the old man tells Komatsu that after Komatsu gives him a the, the soup that he made last night. And the old man cries. That's how good he is. That's how good the, the food is. The old man starts to cry when, when he actually, I don't, I don't think he actually ate it, but he smelled it. But I think maybe it was more so the generosity that Komatsu had. Like, me? A, a, a lowly old man in a corner? You're giving me this delicious food? Oh, shit. Whoa. So, Komatsu's going there. Or he was going to go there. But then, he got, a, he, but then he, he got the call. Like, oh, shit. Fucking competition's right now. So, I don't know what he's going to do. But, given the fact that the ten shells are, are fairly skilled, Komatsu probably has to actually go there so they can actually get the right to go to the food spirit realm. But at the same time, Chaco is Komatsu's new best buddy. So, he's got to go and save his ass. Or maybe, maybe, it'll be someone else. Like, Chio. Chio will go in Komatsu's stead to save Chaco. Who knows? I'm not too sure. Because I don't think Komatsu can actually, like, if there's any fights going on, Komatsu isn't, you know, combat savvy. The knife is OD, but... He can't actually perform, like, you know, insane cooking combat skills, all right? He's in rocking a fucking pressure zone. In the future, he could rock some shit, but he hasn't controlled his gourmet demon yet. So, where this goes, I'm not too sure, honestly. I mean, it could be that, you know, Chin, Chio, Komatsu, they go as a unit with Tak, and they go and save Chaco. Who knows? And I'm not even too sure if they are allowed to switch out with other people for the competition. I'm not too sure at all. So let's say that, you know, uh, the, the guy with the top hat, all right, that guy, he fucks up. Are they allowed to switch him with Komatsu? Like, is that a thing? Like, I, I don't know. So there are a few things that we're still unsure at this point in time. But things are becoming far more interesting at this point in time. So that's it. The chapter overall, I think, is a good chapter. I'll leave it at that. So King Lightning. 
rate the video, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys and gals later. Hold on, let me do it right. I'm sorry. You have a mouse, right? Yeah! And you gotta use the goddamn mouse to like or dislike the video. There we go. Now, I can say comment, subscribe. Have a nice one. I'm doing that shit every fucking time. Get used to it.